X Man Gate. And I call it the X Gate because it's look, it's got an X on it. That's where the X Men live, bro. My uh, I'm gonna be an X Man. I'm gonna be Chomper. <laughs> when my teeth are done, Chompa. I'm gonna be just like uh, Wolverine. His hands are like that. That's how my teeth are gonna be. Yow! Chomp, chomp. <laughs> All right. Welcome to 62 to Freedom. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a wonderful day. Ding ling ling. Wow. The bar's just going for some rocks, sand and stuff. Take that back to San Jose. Welcome to the channel. Hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe. I don't really feel like doing anything. Oh, I think I'm gonna cut, yeah, I'm gonna cut those bananas that are ripe, cuz. I've been waiting because we got so many bananas before, but you know, I eat a lot of bananas because of, the, of my two situation. So that big group of bananas, but I gave some, shared some out to the family because I didn't have time to eat them all. Uh, you need all these bananas for the banana bread? Yeah, no. You need eight of them? I mean, there's six out of seven. So six is enough, right? Yeah, okay. four. Okay, I just want this one. All right, so I'm gonna cut some more bananas today. So we have some more different, it's a different species of banana. You birds are crazy. Uh oh, where are you going, birds? Oh, yay, yay! <laughs> so, I'm gonna, uh, my wife says she wants her bananas. So, I got my little bolo here. It's my personal bolo. Only I have used this since it's been made. So, I want it to last a long time. I don't want to hit no rocks or nothing like that. So, um, I'm gonna get these bananas. I've been eyeballing them for a while. You know, the storm kind of made it fall down because the bananas got heavy. And the stalk, look, it's been bent right there. And so I propped it up with this just so it could get uh, a little bit longer it could ripen. So that's what I wanted. But right now it's, it's ripening off. I'm gonna cut this down today. Get rid of it. And uh, really I need to get that one down too. So, I don't know. That one looks like it needs to grow a little bit more. Maybe. Looks like it could grow a little bit more. This one I believe is ready. I know it's ready because my father-in-law said it was. He's like a banana expert. Professional banana caller. <laughs> All right. All right, let's quit playing around. Let's get to work. Ooh. My bolo. It's my bolo. Anyway, I'm gonna cut these bananas. Down my, my wife said, I want my banana. So they're ready. Just gonna cut them and uh, hang them in the banana hanger in the uh, kitchen, and they'll be yellow in two or three days. So if you don't cut them, you know the um, bats will start messing with them if you let them get too ripe. Uh, I don't want that to happen because they're beautiful bananas. I will show you. Yeah. 
these are small bananas. I believe they're called Lakatan. These are the favorite of my wife. And uh, dang, the ants are getting on me. The ants might like them too. They can't penetrate this banana. Anyway, they're beautiful. You just put them in the uh, kitchen on the banana hanger, like I said, and they'll be right before you know it. Plus, those real fast black ants, man. They would get up in your armpit real quick. <laughs> All right. Now I don't have to be so careful. Where's my bolo at? Huh? So. And once you cut the bananas down, that stalk is never going to have bananas again. So you want to get rid of it. So that the other stalk can um, proliferate. Cut the bananas. So I haven't sharpened that bolo yet myself. You know, it just came straight from the market. So I need to get sharpening that. But this knife right here, I used to sharpen this in the shipyard all the time. And uh, I just hit it with the stone and the uh, diamond, diamond uh, plate, you know, diamond file. Hit it with the rough and the uh, smooth uh, Indian stone. And then I hit it with the diamond file. And that's what I used to do in the shipyard. It would cut plastic like butter. You know, plastic's hard. If you got a little bit of a dull knife, plastic's almost impossible to cut, like a roll of plastic. So that's why I did that. And uh, I don't want to take all this uh, sap out of there in the kitchen. So I'm going to cut these so that... Um, you see this, this edge right here? I don't know if you can see it right here. You're going to cut that. And that's what that's what fits in the banana holder. I'll show you. See a section of bananas like that will fit right in. You just put the banana holder between the crack right there. So I went to wash my hands. And, uh, you know, here's a pointer if you move to the tropics. Look at that. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see around. Let me see. Let me check this water buffalo out. This is not a saltwater buffalo. <laughs> it's cool though. It looks like an old one. It's like a farm on the beach, ain't it? There's chickens in. Wow. a lot of uh, wood and coconut debris, ain't there? Wow. Yay. Carabao is what they call it. The, it's a water buffalo. It's called a Carabao in the Philippines. Probably somewhere else it's called Carabao too, I think. I'm not sure where. Anyway, they're pretty cool. They use them as plows. You know, to plow the rice field over and everything. You know, back before, you know, the old days, that's how they did it. And they still do it like that because some people, you know, you still got to buy seed, you know, to plant rice, you got to buy seed, this and that. 
you got to buy fertilizer so you can't always afford diesel to run some kind of tractor to plowed field and sometimes the tractor gets stuck in there care about won't get stuck in the mud ha <sighs> Oh, reliable. Anyway, don't get any of this juice on your pants or shirt. It will never come out. I just washed my hands and believe me, it won't come out. I'd have ruined it several shorts, shirts. <laughs> Chop it down, that stalk is, you know, that stalk that it came off of is not gonna have any more bananas. So you cut that stalk down to make everything else grow better. And also you mulch it down like this so that you give back the banana tree some vitamins and stuff, mineral. So I'm just gonna pile this around, rake it up around the banana tree when I'm done. And it helps it, it helps it. Plus I give it a little bit of fertilizer too. Uh, I want good bananas. <laughs> I want good bananas and not bad bananas. I want a lot of bananas. <laughs> Black of tan bananas. <laughs> I'll see you later. Let's see what we can get into later on. That I'm behind. This is where that group of bananas fell down during the storm. I gotta cut that stalk down like this one. And this is the one that fell down during the uh, pig picking thing. So I gotta get rid of it. And manicure this tree and that those trees right there and these trees i don't want to hit this little baby so this is the one where the storm oh, i want to get these baby leaves out of the way there we go and then maybe pulling this Hi. come on baby i need two hands for this you see my problem, this baby here. And that, that's the one I was chopping on right there, right in the middle. So my wife came home with some lemongrass and she asked me to plant it. So I cultivated around there and dug the hole, planted it down, poured some water in the hole, planted it down in there. So the roots were right next to some water. And then there's a circle around the outside perimeter of that dirt. You can see a little bit of it. it looks like salt but i put some art you know some fertilizer around it i forget what they're called at zero twenty zero or something and then the grass that i cultivated away from that that made you know where I, all the grass i got out of that circle back there i came this is right right this is i'm trying to make this free so I took that good grass that was from there and planted it here. So when I cultivate, I got five little knobs right there. We'll keep track of these five knobs. <laughs> five little bushes there, start some grass back here where it's bare. So that's that. And you know, because the weeds, it's nothing but the weeds back here, but you no, know, this was, this area right here where I planted that grass was actually part of this slope that sloped down um in the beginning and then we dug these footings and everything the 
where the ground was got lost. And so we refound the ground, but it took a little bit of the fence, took some of the slope away, a little bit of it. It probably came out to about the edge of this well, the slope did, till it ended and went slope, you know, gently sloping down. So we'll see, will this grow or not? Because, I don't know, it's kind of like clay right there. This, this has no problem growing whatsoever. It's even got a vine growing on it. Come on, man. You vine growing on my baby. No. Why aren't you growing on that fence over there? All right, I'm gonna transplant this vine to that fence. How about that? So, uh, rock with me. I didn't let you rock with me today. That's my prize possession find today. There wasn't many big rocks, but see that one with the dirt on it right there. I just saw a little bit of it sticking out with a nub, and I kept, I couldn't move it, and I kept digging it, it got pretty big, so it's gonna be some weight to hold the dirt of this tree down. So, eh, see there's not many big rocks out there. Look at these clouds, man. Wow. It's gonna be a good sunset. Oh, the sunset's gonna be great. Woo. This fish? You got, you got fish? Oh. Huh? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, can I see? Oh, yeah. So many. How much? How much is 20 that? 20 pesos. 20 pesos. Oh, that's a good deal. Okay. That's a good, this what kind of fish is that? What kind of fish is that? Tamban. Bambag? Tamban. Tam. Ban. Bad? Tamban. 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 Oh, it's got a blue streak in there. Oh. I'm allergic to fish. Oh, who bit the head of that one off? No, you. you. Don't you. <laughs> 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 Maybe the uh, big fish. No. Yeah. Very good deal. Okay, bye. All right, bye bye. What's the name again? Rinan. No, no, the fish. Red. The fish. Uh, tamban. 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 I would tell my wife. Her name? Rodney. Rodney. Hi, Okay, bye bye. So, that's my friends I met earlier. Next time. Yep. Oh, man. It's going to be gorgeous. I already took my shower, so I've been... Got my feet dirty in the... Ugh, daggone it. <laughs> that's why... Uh, you know, I didn't think about it. I just made this outdoor bath right there, which is good. And I use it sometimes. Sometimes you're down here working and I, you don't feel like climbing up a bunch of stairs to get to the bathroom, if you know what I mean. So that big group of stuff right there, it's got out of control again. It really grows good. But George got some of that yesterday. Chair came up over here. I forget what it's called. I ate one the other day. Uh, you eat the yellow ones. You see the, the fruit hanging there? These ones right here? Yeah. I think you could eat that one. Yep. I'll show you. If I can, you know, if you had three hands, vlogging would be so much easier. Here you go. This is a good example. That last one had ants inside of it. They, I guess it cracked, you know, it was too old. It cracked, but and the outside shell cracked so the ant, ants could enter. But then you just put this, pop this one in your...